the railway children. When we climbed the slopes of the cutting, we were eye-level with the white cups of the telegraph poles and the sizzling wires. Like lovely freehand, they curved for miles east and miles west beyond us, sagging under their burden of swallows. We were small and thought we knew nothing worth knowing. We thought words travelled the wires in the shiny pouches of raindrops, each one seeded full with the light of the sky, the gleam of the lines, and ourselves so infinitesimally scaled we could stream through the eye of a needle.